Megan McVane is a medical student in St. Martin. She's been evacuated and now has a place to stay for the next week. But after that, she doesn't know. The school is still trying to figure that out because they can't go back. And so we heard like these big bangs and it almost sounded like explosions outside. Hurricane Irma's wrath at Lisa McVane's doorstep in St. Martin, a night the med student from Raymond won't soon forget. I knew the island before I went there. And it literally looked like just bombs went off when we came outside. Like, there's, there's no, there's just like skeletons of trees. This is video she shot in the days after the storm. Wow. She and close to 500 others in her program with the school are now safe in Chicago, but surviving the storm was just the start of her journey. We're trying to figure out how to get off the island. And that became a little bit harder than I think everybody thought because nobody thought you'd have such devastation. Evacuation plans falling through. At one point, they were rejected from a cruise ship, sending her group back through the ravaged island. We, were, we had to go through some of the worst parts of the island, which is really sad, but it made it that we needed like that military escort to get there. While she only made it through with a backpack, her clothes, and her cat, McVane says it's the school staff who need the help. Their lives are ruined. They lost everything. Uh, so a lot of our staff's homes got blown away and they have to stay on the island. So I would say if anybody wants to do anything, they could give to one of the relief centers to help the people because we all feel horrible about leaving them there. Her school is now reaching out to campuses across the country to see if they will take them in for the semester. They are offering to reimburse students for a quick trip back home before the classes resume. Certainly a lot on her mind right now, but she is just counting her blessings. In the studio, Kathleen Jordan, WMTW News 8. Okay.